most people in life are looking at how to make a life worth living in retirement heaven. There is a group of people that likes to play games. There is a group of white people that think they have the right to play the game with someone's life. Now what is the game? The game is, I am now in control of you. I am now going to pester you. I am now going to interfere with you. I am now going to see you. I am now going to do things to you. I am now going to steal from you. I am now going to take what I want. And I am not going to give one thing back. I am going to ruin my life by learning every single law that exists in America to prove two things. That one, I can do it and get away with it. And two, I can do it to you and harm you. And I'm going to make sure that you can never have a life again. And that's the mentality of some people in a family of origin. That's the mentality of some people who played a game but didn't do what God told them to and they failed themselves. That's the power of people. The power of people says, I'm going to take your ideas and I'm going to run with it. And that is a theft from God. The theft from God says, I'm going to steal from you. I'm going to bother you. I'm going to harass you. I'm going to humiliate you. I'm going to make immoral calls against you. I'm going to so fuck my life in front of God, it's not even funny. God did not assign you the right to pick up any phone you own and call police on anyone just because you happen to walk by him and see him. You are a fool before the Lord. Jesus Christ was killed by the centurion soldiers of the day. Those men did not go to heaven. Maybe one did who asked Christ for his forgiveness, but everybody else is in hell still today. They are not the hell's workers. They are still toiling, burning, churning in hell. And openly, while I can enjoy the watching of people driving by, and I can enjoy the summer afternoon of sleeping and napping and getting through a narcoleptic fit, but what I can tell you is my health, my personhood, my paperwork, my property do not belong to you. Just like your health, your personhood, your paperwork, your property do not belong to anybody else. How immoral are you to think that you have the right to step into someone's life hand them a few dollars and go, now that I've given this to you, when you're asleep, I'm going to do anything I fucking want to you. What country did you come from to think that that was even remotely okay underneath all the laws of the world about human rights and privacy rights and medical rights and militia rights and everything that protects our nations around the world? In your lifetime, you have humiliated yourself in front of your friends in front of your family, in front of your social networks, in front of your professional colleagues, in front of your business abilities, and who gives a shit who you think you are to me? Because my guess is if I don't even fucking know your first name, and if you can't follow up in a simple way of something I've asked you to do, then you've already proven you're not trustworthy. You have 100% proven that you are without God's trust. You're not in that circle of trust that Ben Stiller liked to laugh about and joke about with what's the big old... Um, a fierce actor whose name is escaping me at the moment, but you know what I'm talking about. That was a funny scene to a point, but it was a horrible thing to do to show families how to be. We have people who work in the FBI. They don't have to fucking tell you they do that. They can walk into any establishment. They can scan every single phone. They can scan your networks. They can see what you're doing illegally and immorally, and they will wait it out until you do something so fucking stupid that they will rip you out of your life. They're not going to reward you and put you into their networks and give you a high-paying job because you're such a good little cybercrime geek. They are going to take you to jail because what they know about you is you're a power seeker. You seek power. You are a power seeker looking for power. And power seekers looking for power always want to fill their codependency for power with more power. And eventually you do stuff to blow shit up. Eventually you ruin your company. Eventually you close a restaurant. Like right now, there's a Steak and, Chip, steak, steak and Shake organization that's completely closed. Did the company shut it down to provide their employees more training underneath federal laws to protect the company from stupid people? Or did the employee family of four that runs that restaurant shut it down? Or did the Republican, excuse me, the Puerto Rican person take everybody out of there, take away their dignity, take away their birth certificate, and lie about it so that he can go in there and train his new Mexican friends to take over the shop. How do we know? Most signs on a door do not explain what is happening for a corporation. And most people do not tell the truth about the shit they steal, the time they take, and the lies that they tell. 